Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I am participating in a collab and thank you Kelly over at Freedom on a Budget for inviting me along on this super fun idea. So Kelly had the idea that we would do our top five favorite WW friendly meals. Could be breakfast, lunch, dinner, you know, it just really wasn't, it was just my top five. So trying to pare down my, my favorites to five was kind of hard because of the fact that I have found so many new fun recipes that I was like, which ones are really my top five? So I'm not gonna chit chat, chat a whole bunch on here. We'll, we'll get into the chit chat later, but let's get started with what I feel are my top five. So the first one I am going to call, and it's not in any particular order, but my first one is my refried beans. Now, when I had originally found this recipe, I had found it for the crock pot, and I have since then converted it to my instant pot because first of all, it's so much quicker. And it's one of those recipes that you can make a big batch and it freezes very well, and then you have some fat-free refried beans ready to go anytime that you need them. And the best part about this, zero smart points. So you can't go wrong, and let me tell you something, the flavor, phenomenal. So I will um, show you, I've actually got it ready to go behind me. I'll give you a quick little snippet, but I will include all five of my videos down below in the comments so that you can see exactly what I made and be able to recreate them for yourself, I guess is the easiest way. So before I start showing you my meals, um, please go check out everybody else's channel that is involved in this collab. Again, thank you, Kelly, for inviting me along. And hopefully you find a recipe or two that will help you along your journey as well. All right, so I think that's, I think that's good. So let's, let's turn around and get started. Okay, so what you see here on in my Instant Pot is dried pinto beans, one onion just sliced in half, a half a jalapeno pepper, some cumin, onion, salt, cumin, onion, salt, and garlic. I think that's it. Again, I'll put the recipe below, and then I've put some water in here as well. So we're going to go ahead and put the rest of the water in here, and then we're going to go ahead and start our Instant Pot. All right, so we're going to turn on our Instant Pot and let this get started. So that is my first item on my list. Okay, so our next item on my top five favorite recipes is overnight oats. So I cannot say enough about overnight oats. They are my absolute favorite. I mean, favorite. And I have been changing the flavors. I've been making new recipes. My favorite is the peanut butter cookie overnight oats. And I will link that recipe below. And I'm going to insert a clip right after this to show you my most newest test. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to call them test newest recipe. But um, I had made the Hungry Girl pineapple right side up down overnight oats. It's supposed to taste like a pineapple upside down cake. And let me tell you something, I tried them super good. You can eat them cold, you can eat them hot. It was good both ways. So I will insert the peanut butter cookie overnight oats below. And then I will insert the new overnight oats recipe here. Okay, I'm testing out a new overnight oats recipe this week, and I think this is like, I don't know, the eighth one that I've tried, but this is one of my favorites. I eat overnight oats all the time. I mean, all the time. It is just, it's my go-to of these days. My overnight oats range between three and five points per jar. Um, the one you're currently look at, look, looking at <laughs> is going to be four smart points. And the majority of the ones that I have are like four smart points. So they're just super, just super good. So if you have not made the overnight oats, please, please, please give them a try because trust me, you won't be sorry. Sorry. 
Okay, so my next choice would be Drizzle Me Skinny's Turkey Taco Pasta Salad. If, again, if you have not tried that one, so good, like so, so good. And I will put my link to my video below for this one as well. But I will also insert a clip after this to show you I just actually made up a batch so you can see it in action. And the flavor of that is phenomenal. I mean, it's so good. It's just, it's one of those recipes that you really can't make too often. Or should I say that you can't make often enough? <laughs> so give this one a try. Again, here's the clip for that one. Okay, so if you have been on my channel for a while, you've seen me make this several times. This is my turkey taco pasta. And I'm sure I'm going to say this before I do this little video clip here in my intro, but this is, again, there are, it's so hard to choose your favorites, but this one definitely ranks right up there with my favorites. Um, I thought I would just go ahead and finish this one off together since I was already making this one. So in the bowl, I have some ground chicken that's flavored with taco seasoning. I have two cups of cooked pasta in there. And then we need to add in some tomatoes, some red onions, and some diced peppers. So go ahead and put that in there. The next thing we're gonna add in is a half a cup of fat-free Catalina dressing. And I'll show you what that looks like just in case you haven't seen that before. Looks like this. Sorry for the dishwasher noise. I was trying to finish up a few things at once and you know how that goes. Now, here is the cheese that I'm using. Um, this is a Drizzle Me Skinny recipe. And again, make this one all the time. It's just one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a stir. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over a bed of lettuce and have it as a cold pasta salad. Now, I've tried to do it, you know, to put the lettuce in and it just gets wilted too easily. So I usually just put my lettuce in after, or, you know, just before I'm getting ready to eat it. Okay, so our next one is, if you follow my channel, then you know I have a huge obsession for donuts love 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 the donuts so i have been making different variations of the donuts ever since mud hustler put it on his channel mud hustler is a is a gentleman that has been on instagram and he first came up with the donuts and phenomenal like so good so i have been taking that recipe and then going out and finding new recipes and changing that up and then converting them into my own recipes and i will again i'll post a couple of my donut video links below my latest was a protein chocolate donut and i'll insert a clip here of that one and this is one of the reasons why i absolutely love these donuts is because of the fact that not only do they make your house smell amazing but it is a one smart point treat that you can totally enjoy anytime, and it just takes a few minutes to throw these things together. The longest part, I think, is waiting the 10 minutes for them to bake and then waiting for them to cool off is like torture because they're so good. So this is why this is one of my favorite recipes and why I love that Kodiak cake mix for making donuts as much as I do. It doesn't matter what variation. I mean, I have the one-point variation. I've got the two-point variation. But again, they're all good. I mean, they are so good. So I hope that you give these a try for sure. Okay, so our final one is a chicken pineapple fried rice. And this one I had made up myself. We have a little Thai restaurant where I work on my day job. And it is so good. And they have a pineapple fried rice with chicken. And it's just, I mean, every time you go there, it's the only thing I get because it's so good. And I'm sure it's a lot more points than I want to give credit for. So what I did is I went ahead and I 
kind of took a picture of my plate the last time I had it and then I tried to recreate it and I hit the ball out of the park. So again, I'll link that recipe video, you know, below as well, but so good. Like I've gotten so much good feedback from everybody that's tried it and it seems to be a huge winner. So that would be my newest favorite recipe. Okay, and here is our pineapple chicken fried rice. And let me tell you something, this is absolutely amazing. I really, really love this recipe. So glad that I thought outside the box to go ahead and try to make this one on my own. Now, today I added a few extra pineapples just because it sounded good and pineapples are zero smart points. And in order to make a bigger portion for this, I also added some rice cauliflower. So you can add a package of the rice cauliflower in here and again, get an even bigger portion from what you were originally thinking you could have, I guess is how the easiest way to say it is. So go ahead and I hope that you give this one a try too because again, there's a reason why it's one of my favorites. All right, so back to the video. So let's kind of go through and I'll give you the point values on some of these things. Um, for my overnight oats, most of those recipes are about four smart points. They range three to five smart points, but the majority of them are four. The turkey taco pasta salad is three to four smart points depending on what kind of cheese you use. I normally will use the Kraft fat-free fat, fat cheese and it usually comes out to be three smart points, but if you use a lower fat version, it's four. For the refried beans, zero smart points. Um, those are fat-free, super good. Donuts range anywhere between one and three points, one for the protein donuts. Um, I do have, yeah, one to three, and the three ones is if you add some frosting and sometimes sprinkles too. You can't go wrong with sprinkles. And then the chicken pineapple fried rice is four smart points, but you get a big portion. There are so many vegetables packed into that one. You just get a really big portion and it's so enjoyable. Now, those are the five for the video, but I do want to give a mention to my egg roll in a bowl, which I think I've just tweaked from other recipes that I found and then the Big Mac wraps. I would not be able to make it through without those two. They are so good, so flavorful, and if you're craving Big Macs like I do sometimes, that Big Mac wrap is just a lifesaver. So I will also put those below as well. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video, so I hope that you enjoyed today's selection of my WW favorites, and I hope that you give some of these a try. Don't forget to go and check out the other channels that are participating in this collab. Um, the, I have followed these ladies for quite a while and I learned so much from each and every one of them. So with that said, have a great day. We'll see you next time. And please, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please you know, give it a try. I think I keep my content fun, I think I keep it interesting, and I know for a fact I have shared some really good cooking videos. So please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And with that said, signing off. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.